Hello there, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaza Redux, in which we're playing as a commune of the proletariat. Last time, we had a good old time, I think with the Germans, maybe? But right now, we can talk about a couple things. So America, or really the CSA, defeated the Canadians and has installed the Canadian Social Republic, as well as the Republic of Quebec. Now, the Maple Leafs are led by Richard Parmeter Petapiece, and, of course, the puppet, and the Republic of Quebec, led by Waifu Lea Robach. Orvir, Orvir, and they're popular the CSA. Hopefully, Big Bill or William Haywood hopefully goes down and chooses the smart step with the World Revolution and uh, international collaboration. That'd be kind of uh, nice or a piece of socialism. But hey, hopefully they chose the right path. But regardless, we've gone to war already with the Cairo Pact, and after this, we'll probably go to war with Russia and call it a campaign, probably. So all we have to do is capitulate the Egyptians, but we'll see what happens, and, oh, we still have to fight the Entente, but I really don't feel like fighting the Australasians. I really don't care about them, I'll be honest. At least for this campaign. Prince Henry, huh? Well, getting all the way down there would really suck, but they're also fighting all of our allies, so... Yeah, they're fighting the Cairo Pact as well, and the CSA, so... Regardless, we're still invading these guys down here. Hopefully we can do okay, and we're hopefully storming right into their little booties. And Tarabulas, huh? Armed department's done. Get some invisible ink. And I want to keep an eye on what's happening right down here. Alexandria hopefully will be ours. Oh, we've landed in Derna. I'm not sure how important Derna is, but I love Benghazi. Uh, let's go the northern route so we avoid some of the mountains. Wait, uh, there's still mountains here. Oh, no, it's mostly hills around here. It must be really hot down there. I don't know if I'd ever want to go down to northern Africa. Just saying. Oh, they actually landed some soldiers here. Or they actually had soldiers here. Good job, Marines. Let's go straight to Cairo. Get to the Suez, and you shall go to Port Said. Hey, we actually did it. Nice job, guys. Ajdabia. Or to go that way, actually, maybe. Nice. I landed the guys here just so we could cut these guys off, so. Not bad. Hopefully, all we take is Cairo, and that'd be really, really nice, but we'll see what happens. Oh, they actually soldiers there. Oh, boy. Well, Marines, do the best you can. We've linked up with the tanks. And Marines, please beat them up. Thank you very much. I'm surprised these guys haven't capitulated yet. I'm oh, actually somewhat surprised, huh? Oh, uh, got some convoys. Shot down one of our planes. Uh, how's the Emirate still alive? Jogbub? Jogbub. Get down to Jogbub. Please, please, please. Uh, taking Cairo now. Uh, can we move down there, maybe? That'd be kind of swell if we could. Oh, Triple Italian's gone. Thank you. Ah, military access. Good, 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 good. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Uh, I'm not sure who territory that's going to, but come over here now. Head on over. And you guys, just go over there. Thank you very much. All we have to do is capitulate these guys, and then they'll be done, right? That's all you gotta do. Move on in. Really, just go right there. Thank you. Hey, you've got Port Said. We've got these guys off. Aswan was where we had to go next. Kinda sucky, but that's okay. Make sure that those guys can't move. Um, let's see. I don't know if the Marines just hold here while the tanks roll down here, so that'd be actually probably a good idea. Just make sure that we can all link up here. That'd be really, really beneficial for us. Good, good, good. All right, thank you, boys. Do not let them move, please. Thank you very much. Tanks in the uh, Middle East. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I would... I want to kill these guys off first. I think it'd just be best if we did that, so... Head on in, and the emirate is gone, thank goodness. You guys head down to Africa and have a good old time as well. Because we love Africa here. We love, love, love Africa. Nothing like Africa to take over. Regardless of mod or game. Victoria 2, we love Africa. Hearts of Iron 4, we usually don't want to fight in there, but we'll take it over anyways because we can. Nothing but love. Strong African love. Just call me African Lover Mocha Lover? African Lover? Hmm. I don't know how far I can get away with saying stuff. We'll see. We shall see. A new doctrine? Oh, I might have done a few doctrines off screen. Maybe not, but if you'd like to read about the new doctrine, please go right ahead. Uh, but, ooh, submarine stuff. Protected coastlines. Eventually, our navy cannot protect every single beach and every single small harbor in our country. However, we can plan ahead and add some basic fortifications to ensure that we're not taken by surprise if they land on our beaches. 
They will enjoy cold, hard steel after a long time at sea. Oh boy, sign us up. Because right now we're going straight down to Aswan. Very nice. Better fighters, thank you. Yes, please. Get the best fighters. There we go, not bad. And pretty good. Oh, we need more. Oh, we need more of this stuff, huh? I love Burma. Awesome Burma. Nothing but best friends. Nothing but best friends. All right, boys. Let's keep going in. I know the infrastructure. Oh God, the, the our allies are landing a lot of people down here. That's not bueno, guys. Please don't. All right, we got him. We don't even need us one. We just need the Cairo area and Alexandria. That's pretty much it. All right. Since we did most of this, I think we'll just take them out. But we still have to kill all the Germans to the south, which shouldn't be too bad if we send our tanks down there. But then again, it is Africa. And Africa is a very diverse place. Incredibly diverse. Good. Oh, we said kill these guys off? Well, that sucks. Hey, Jaws. Hmm. Hey, Jaws, huh? Nah, you guys are going to go against the Germans. Against them Germans. Guard through them. Do that. Just build up the infrastructure up here like crazy. I'll send the Marines that way, maybe? I know they're not Mountaineers, but hey, it is what it is. Head on to Mecca. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And head on out, boys. All right, so we got Russia done. Yeah, Eastern Europe, or at least this part of the Cauc Caucasus and that area. Kind of a mess, not going to lie. Kind of a mess. Nice. And we're already doing this, yeah. So, not sure why we get that again. We can, of course, liberate some people, which we will probably. Oh, let's do the fate of Iraq. If you like everybody about this, please go right ahead. But... We like Iraq. Iraq is a cool place. Hej uh, Hejaz? No, where were you guys? The Iraqi Socialist Republic. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a cool flag. Led by Mr. Smiles himself, Yusuf Salman Yusuf. Oh, someone is oh, captured. That is not good, my friends. That is not good. Oh, we have two people captured. That's not good. T.E. Lawrence, very good. Hmm. Quite not good. Hopefully we can do well against these guys, but we'll see what happens, obviously, so. I can't imagine that the Germans being super strong. I mean, they are exiled. But it doesn't mean that they don't have a lot of people there. Well, in a second, they got a lot of manpower, though. A lot of divisions, but hopefully they're not too good. I and mean, we're not using, hopefully, a lot of supply here with these tank divisions. We're still using light tanks here, and we have no logistic companies in these guys? Yeah, no. Yeah, that'll definitely up us up. 1,000.5 breakthrough. Not bad, my friends. Not bad at all. Ah, the Jaws. Thank you. Uh, we don't have enough score for that, huh? Eh, but now we do. I don't care. I'll just take it anyways, because we can. I'll probably end up liberating them, too. Liberation for the masses, shall we? Yes. And Polish state, that's fine. Well, we're going to kill you off anyway, so. Let the tanks do their job. And then we'll see what happens. Mosiland? Oh, if you like it, you'd go right ahead. Mosiland? Cool, why not? And that'll be over here on the left side. So there you go. Kurdistan. If you like read about that, let's go right ahead. Kurdish state. Um, give it to this. Iraqi Socialist. Oh, give it to the Iraqi Socialist Republic. Why not? I don't want to deal with the Kurds. I really don't. I'll be honest. Like, as much as Kurds are cool and all, I want less border gore, but whatever. Fate of Egypt? Um, you can have all of it. Well, that sucks. There you go. Well, I guess technically that's one way if you really, really, really want to kill off their manpower. Or kill off their divisions, because uh, they technically should be getting no supplies here. So, I mean, obviously we're not doing well in supplies either, but still. Sinai. Uh, let's give it to the Egyptian Republic and Levant. Give it to our Egypt, Egyptian allies. Eh, why not? Return Egyptian land? Yes. Now that's not terrible, but just not good. Never knew I could give this all to Egypt. Yeah, they definitely don't have cores on this. And what do I do with this? Lakatia? Latakia. Maybe I should have liberated <laughs> Syria. Whoops. Oh well. Oh well. 
Ah, good. I like that one. A uh, lot. Come on, carry your holes, because we can. Uh, at this point, Navy doesn't really matter too much anymore, to be honest. Like, it doesn't really matter at all. Alright, agent force in hiding. Alright, so be it. Well, at least we got one of our guys back. Cut off the capitalist, but let's go and do the 4th International. The 3rd International is a corrupt and decadent organization that sought only to advance the agenda of the syndicalists and their reactionary allies. The 4th International become the global standard bearer of socialism. Aw, oh, yeah. I love it. I love it a lot. Seriously, guys, can you win? Could you just please just win? Good. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. And boom. Boom. Oh, crap. They actually got these guys. That sucks. Come on, come on. Oh, they got those guys too. God dang it. All right, at this point, you got to open up the floodgates to the Germans. And that's going to last forever, which really, really sucks. They're still fighting over here, which sucks, but whatever. So, Germany. Or the German government exile. Plenty of equipment. Um, at this point, I just want to go to war with the Russians. Or actually, maybe we'll just go to war with Poland. I have no aggression back with them. Uh, Gain of Ukraine, why not? 125 days? Well, we'll probably get through the focus done before that and declare war on capitalism. German Empire, Canadian Social Republic, United States of America. No, I'm kind of okay. If you'd like to read about this one, though, please go right ahead, but no, I'm kind of okay. Fourth International. Oh, well, there can only be one Fourth International. French National State. Just kind of want to kill off the Russians, man. Cut off the capitalists? We can not simply sit and watch as the empires of old extort the peoples of the world and bring their plunder back to their colonial offices to count and enjoy. Oh, we will ensure that every convoy hauling them just as he's good fears the communal submarines. Very good. We expect it to be like that. Very much so. Alright, so you guys did a great job. And you guys keep training because you can. And you guys are going to sit around Africa. No supplies getting in or out. Just going to hang out down here, guys. The Sudan. Definitely could use some improvements. Please don't get encircled. And why? Uh, Nigerian government exile. Uh, no, not yet. I don't feel like it yet. Supply. Why is it so bad? Local infrastructure incoming of previous infrastructure, which is not great. Can I improve the logistics companies at all? Yes, we can. Which is a very good thing for us. Oh, look, less supply issues now. Nice. Let them deal with it. Oh, yeah, what are we thinking here? They have a little fleet, a little task force, I guess. All right, well, it's a nice little dinky fleet they got. Convoys go bye bye. More convoys go bye bye. Love it. Nice. And does Jean have anything? It's level 9 attack. Skill 9 attack. Good lord. That's pretty good. That is pretty darn good. Jacques? Anything there? No, not really. Hejaz? Ah, uh, we can just him as a puppet. That's fine. Nice. Weapons for Nigerian resistance? Sure. Why not? Bastille Day? Very cool. Oh god, please do not be putting more soldiers down here, guys. Please, 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 please do not do that. If that's the case, I'm just going to abandon this area. Mm. Oh, we have to fight Persia too. That's gonna suck. Uh, where are you guys at? Oh yeah, we have to fight the Serbs as Bulgarians as well. That's gonna kind of suck too. Oh well. It's all part of the game. Nice. Um, nuclear reactors. It is 1944. How about we get some better recon? Can we liberate anybody else? No? Okay. And now we shall do Cut Out the Capitalists. Very good. Man, we could use more medium tanks, although. Oh, boy. Did you guys win in an attack? Yep. Actually, yeah, you can. Wow, that's not bad. We have air superiority, probably. It does definitely helps out. Nice. More convoys go bye bye. Bye bye now. Darfur sounds like a fun place to be. Okay, maybe that's a lie, but whatever. Oh look, Union Britain's doing a pretty good job too. Nice, good job, Union Britain. Museum pieces. Yeah, let's hope they run out of equipment. Yeah, they're, they're oh, okay. I ask and they run out. 
Mm, at this point, just make more subs. Just blow up our enemy ships. That's all I care about. Oh, look at that. Convoys. Oh, all around here. They're trying to find different areas to leave Africa from, but nope. You're going to stay in Africa, you son of a gun. Oh, we actually need... We actually built carriers. We need some carrier planes then. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh, and you guys are just kind of hanging out. Uh, actually, I'll put you guys here. That would be probably pretty good. Yeah, they're going to attack like madmen, so we'll have to use our allies. But I gave all these armies a lot of planes, so... Even though I do know Russia's been building up a lot of planes themselves, modern carrier whole. Uh, we got to come back over here and grab some of this stuff, because we're not making any sort of planes. So, kind of an emergency feature we're trying to do right now, so. Nice. Oh, yeah, the Marines are still here. Um, not, the Marines can't really do too much here. Maybe a little bit, but not very much. Ooh, yeah, you guys come over here then. Amphibious? Might as well. Screw it, why not, right? Uh, I'll be honest, Nationals Chile, I don't really feel like going over there. Wait, they want a non-aggression pact. Oh, they left? Oh, no, we made the 4th International. Oh, can we invite them? Wait, why can we send in... What the heck? Okay, that's very weird. We create the 4th International versus the enemy's 4th International. That These guys get kicked out? I don't think that's very cool. I think that's a, that should be a bug in the game that you should be able to reinvite them into the fourth international, right? That only makes sense to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Very odd. Oh yeah, I seen, oh look at that fleet. I'm glad I didn't see anything else down here. Oh boy. Anyone else got uh, supplies they need? Hope I can release a, just a giant Middle Africa puppet. That'd be kind of fun. I got plenty of political power. The fate of Wadai. There you go. You can have Wadai back. Wadai is now alive. Invite the Lieutenant Social National. Yeah. Yeah. Get him in. There we go. Nice. The Fourth International versus the Fourth International. There can only be one Fourth International. You guys can have the fifth one, but we want the fourth one. We were third, but now we're fourth. We're just a little slow. Oh, we lost a sub hole, maybe. That sucks. Honestly, if you force the attack, you could probably still win anyway, so. Look at those militia divisions going bye-bye. I love it. What do you want from me? Oh, fall of blood. Was Russia fighting someone else? Oh. Cool. All right. Guerrilla Source Marine. As modern war takes to the air, it also goes into the sea, subs provide a new revolutionary change in naval warfare. Their torpedoes can, and even the most ardent of armored battleships. And their profile is stealthy, and with only the most advanced technologies able to find and attack them. Very good. I'm not even sure who we're fighting, but sure. Nice. I hope, Jacques, you're learning a lot. Hope you become an organizer someday, but maybe. If you keep using him, we will. Or at least he will be. Wow. Hey, look at that! Our allied, or the Union Britain helped us destroy those ships. Good, good, good. It would really suck to be German. How many casualties do they have? Not enough. We've cut off 536,000 of them. It is not enough. Uh, let's create our own. Big old giant gross African Reich sometime. Fort Mausch. Actually, what do we need to capitulate them? Adar es Salaam, huh? Just go up the coast, just in case you get encircled, so. Hopefully we don't get or lose anybody here, but we'll see what happens. Australasia, is anyone invading you yet? No. Hmm. Nice, we got both those done, that's good. You can get close air support because you can, and grab some maintenance. Carrier fighters, carrier naval bombers, sink. Yes, thank you. Uh, go with three and three. Do we have any spare factories? Uh, lower this by ten. Go down to ten. Go down to ten. Nice, there we go. Now that's good. And of course we got encircled. What else is new? You guys keep doing what you're doing. More torpedo hull stuff. 
Uh, Capito. I guess we can do that one because we can. Why not? Um, let's return the line here maybe a little bit better. There you go. Oh, cool. And go to for War for Breast. Get a Darth Zone. Get out of there, guys. If we lose a few tanks here and there, whatever. It's just, it's just time for us to go to war with the Russians, I think. You guys are doing well. You guys just go and push on him. Recon 3s. Nice. Let's grab some signal companies. They're probably a really bad idea. World War 3. Here we go. Hope I've put enough soldiers on the border. Probably not, actually. Cancer not aggression pact, huh? Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Cool. Oh, this is a giant mess. You guys get out of here. So uh, I'm I'm getting just becoming a little lazy about this as you can tell. I uh, just just die Germany please. We push fo so far down south. If I lose a few tank divisions, it is what it is. Uh, get two more. There you go. Not bad. Is anyone fighting here yet, or? Well, I like the green, even though the numbers might not be great. Yeah, that's not good. That's slowly going up as well. Cancel non-aggression pact. Oh, again, revoke it before 1945. Okay. Oh, there they go. Well, casualties, how are they doing so far? Fourth International, 38,000. Better plans are always nice. I think we're done with the air doctrine, too, right? Maybe a doctrine. Let's improve that maybe a little bit more, perhaps. Uh, yeah, let's look at the air. It's definitely a mixed bag. Definitely mixed. Oh, boy. Hopefully, we can do well here. Oh yeah, well, 100. Oh, wow, that's a lot already. Well, let's let's see what happens. I'm I'm a little more worried about my tanks that are probably going to die here, but we'll see. Get all three of you guys out of here. Are you guys even moving down here? Yeah, you kind of are. Supply is just so bad down here. What do you expect? You know, if we at least come out with five tanks, I'll be kind of happy with it. So, logistics three. Let's just go for the next one immediately. Doesn't matter. Keep sinking their stuff, guys. You're doing a great job. This is a giant mess. How are we doing over in this front? Oh, we're doing okay. Relatively okay. I'll uh, build up some more air bases. That'd be good. And build up some more infrastructure here, too. That'd be nice. Well, we're doing pretty well in the Ukraine. I know, I know that guy. Daniil? We got a lot of manpower, of course. Probably a lot of equipment, too, but... I like the green air. The red air, not so much, but the green air is pretty nice. There you go. Good luck with that. You guys are probably going to need that. Poland looks like it's dying, which is a good thing. Keep going, guys. You're doing a good job. And then we'll do some Alpine forces. Mountains have always been a radically different environment to fight in, and most of our borders cross mountains. We must ensure that our training of mountain forces is spotless so that every new piece of equipment we invent is adapted to mountain warfare. Mountain artillery exists, perhaps mountain tanks soon will as well? Let's hope so. I forgot about that, so. My bad. Helps reduce losses when you're attacking, so. Has anyone have upgrades here yet? Somewhat, yes. Or just upgraded levels, I guess. 
Losses, that's a lot. Eh, it's not too bad actually against these guys. Having that fourth front will definitely help us out though. Guys, why don't you just go through the ocean? CSA owns that, what the heck? You guys are kind of screwed then if you guys don't move over here then. Oh, we already lost one division. God dang it. You know what? I'd rather get the equipment, so... That's my fault for sending the tanks down here. Screw it. These guys refuse to move, so whatever. Let's go ahead, guys. Come on. Let's go. Come over here to beat him up anyways, because you can. Sure, why not? Well, it doesn't look like we're really winning here. We're super close to cutting off Poland, though. Integration of Wallonia? Look at that! Uh, the growing region of uh, the region of Wallonia is centered in Moore is now firmly integrated into our growing nation. Great. I love it. Grab some of that because we can. Okay, Serbia, why are we not at war with you? You're part of the group, aren't you? We've lost 400,000. Alright, Russia, where are you? Yeah. Alright, I don't know why they don't attack like crazy, but okay. Sure, why not? Take Krakow. We should be able to get Krakow at the very least. No, you're gonna fight or die. All right, you guys are what type of? Eighth. Okay, that's why. That makes sense. Why? There you go. Kill them off. Sure. Uh, no. Why are we abandoned by our allies? I'm not going to defend this if our allies don't come in. I refuse to defend this. What the hell, guys? Seriously, you just abandoned the entire front? I know it's the Union of Britain there, but come on, man. What the heck? How has Mexico not won this war yet? This makes no sense, man. Well, let's go. Why don't we have any fuel? America, we love you. CSA, we love you. There you go. We'll definitely help us out there, boys. Screw everyone here. I don't care if they're Mountaineers or not. Can't believe we weren't 40 combo with earlier. My bad. Oh, we need way more artillery now. Oh boy. Well, oh well. I make mistakes. It is what it is. Did we lose another division here? Guys, I hate the frontline system where it just keeps throwing stuff right there. It doesn't make any sense. Why? Stop throwing divisions there. It literally makes no sense. It makes no sense, man. It makes no sense. Go. Just go. Kill them off. Kill every single last German off here. No compromises. 100,000 manpower. Uh, that's way too much manpower, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I should probably pay a little more attention to this. This is where we're going to do a lot of damage. Hopefully, at least. Yeah, Russia, you can go eat a bag of wie wieners. <laughs> That's what we like to see. How do they have air superiority? Uh, no. Ban trade unions, huh? They certainly got a lot of equipment, though. They certainly do. Not a lot of fighters, though, which is a very good thing to see, actually. Incredibly good thing to see. Oh, how are we out of fuel? What the heck, guys? America, can we get some more fuel? There we go. Now we should have infinite fuel. There we go. That's going to be nice and good. All right. And research and nuclear bombs because we can. Happy 1945, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Um, a spy promoted. Very nice. Oh, uh, sure. Puerto Rico, why not? Well, at least the tanks, when I split them in two armies, they're doing pretty darn well at this point, so. Not bad. Could be better, of course. Oh, look at that. Oh, battleships, nice. Battlesh two battleships. Order restored in the Sash Italian National Socialist Republic, cool. More maintenance companies, why not? There we go. Oh, another uh, battleship, cool. 
and a convoy. Thank God Bulgari came in too. Ready to kill them off so we have extra spare arms to throw around here. Um, I want to do a general attack, but I'm not sure where to. You guys are still struggling probably pretty mightily down here. Oh, there goes Serbia. Great. Alpine forces. Um, at this point, I'm kind of tired of this campaign, but I want to finish it out to the end. So if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. As well as the auto routes, please go right ahead. As well as the modern equipment. And establish more air bases. Fighter focus. Bomber focus. Rocketry effort. Paratroopers development. Strategic destruction. Naval bombers. Declare war on capitalism. Please go right ahead, because I think I'm just going to do a lot of this off screen. Just so we can speed up and I don't have to use a lot of time to process videos. So, I'll see you when we're close to cap capitulating our enemies. And here we are, everyone. March 27th, 1947. So it's been a while, and as you can see, about 15 million casualties for the Eurasian Union. And, well, we've taken quite a few ourselves, with almost 9.5 million here. And almost 20 million for the 4th International. My goodness, it's been pretty much just a slog. But I decided to show you the casualties before everything else wrapped up. And there we have it. Now, maybe I should have waited and actually uh, <laughs> shown you like everything after we're done here. But at this point, let's just go and take everything we can. I'm not interested in people getting their just desserts. But hey, we'll have a good old time regardless. Oh, definitely Bulgaria. Also, Russia became the Eurasian Union. So, eat your heart out, Hyperborea. It is what it is. Uh, and... Wow. That's a lot of score. Tur Turkestan, White Ruthenia, Latvia, of course the Serbs. Yeah, it was, it was a giant slog. I mean, at one point I had like minus 10,000 artillery pieces. But after this, we'll take a uh, good old look and see how many artillery pieces I had. Because it was, it was just... Just slog. But it does help if they don't guard the front in the Crimea region. And then you just send your tanks and go crazy with them. Now, let's see. Artillery... Now we have 43,000. About right. And we didn't have that many guns. I can't imagine the Russians had that many guns, but that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, return to Swedish lands? Sure. Why not? Uh, yes. Give them all they want. Galician lands? Thank you very much. Iraqi, Iraqi lands? Sure, guys. You have want you want your lands back? Yes. Poland? Ah, uh, we'll liberate them. Why not? And we could have given them Galicia, but whatever. Oh, God, no. The lag kills it for me, man. I'll be honest. It just kills it for me. Uh, just give me everything you got here. But, if we're, if we're gonna lag, we're gonna lag together. Transamir? Uh, we'll see. A Central Asian Federation? Why not? Sounds kind of like fun, right? Minor states? Nah, we're kind of okay. Uh, the fate of Transamir? Nah, I mean, we'll probably just liberate Russia. Wow, how, how bad is this gonna lag? Then it is, it's 1947, and we've liberated pretty much all of Africa, which I've got an interesting country to show, show you here. I'm surprised the game isn't crashing right now, just because, honestly, that's a, that's extremely concerning how much of that like. But look at all this. And we have, uh, who do we have? Oh, where was that? Ah, the state of Israel, Uganda. They don't have a unique focus to but they're led by Lionel de Rothschild. Kind of wild. Fate of Serbia, go ahead and liberate them. That should be pretty easy to not worry about. And Persia, go ahead and liberate them. That should take a little bit of time. Also, the Bharati economy capitulated to the Raj Authority, so... The Entente's basically dead, except for Australasia. But the Raj won. So, that's very, very weird to see. Regardless, I mean, that's pretty much going to be the campaign. We're going to lag here just a little bit longer. I probably should have just won the war and then done all this. But, A, I am running out of time when I'm making this recording. So, it is what it is. Seriously, like, it's only 11 provinces. It shouldn't lag this bad. But then again, oh, Bulgaria. We love Bulgaria, right? Some days. Sometimes. But this campaign was pretty fun. I mean, this last little one was a little bit of a slog, but when you ever take out Russia in the mid to late 40s, it's always going to be a slog. I mean, look at all that political power we got. 20, 2,000 2, political power? That's so much. But Kaiser Redux, it's a lot of fun. It, what does Turkey own Armenia? I guess that is Armenia. Whatever. Um, but Kaiser Redux is a lot of fun. I hope to return to it, especially playing as some select characters that I would really like to enjoy playing as so and i want to see who, who's leading the fate of russia or you know the socialist uh, russian socialist republic eventually before we end the episode so uh fate of transmure it is what it is but yeah kaiser redux i'm glad people recommended that i play it someone thought i wasn't going to ever play it but i definitely will play it so and i have especially since i have played one of the mods that is in kaiser redux called home of the brave which was a lot of fun so not bad i want to get ostracon they become our puppet, so... Yeah, this is unfortunately really bad. 
uh, just at the end of the game. It's just so bad that the lag, it's incredibly bad. And I'm not trying to complain too much about this because, you know, it is what it is, you know. And that's why I, oh, I'm always hopeful for a United Africa or even United like South Africa, not in South Africa, South America, just because it helps eliminate lag. They, obviously, South America doesn't have a lot of content in it, but anything that help reduce the amount of lag. That's why I generally don't like playing a lot of Kaiser, Kaiser Redux or even just Kaiserreich, just because of the lag that it just has an insane amount of lag. That's why I generally prefer like Old World Blues, which has a little bit more lag, or even though then again I play TNO a whole bunch, but even then. This game just doesn't completely stop, usually. Usually, unless there's a German Civil War, you know. Now, uh, let's see. But anyways, remind, uh, no, don't remind me, guys, but... Put down your thoughts in the comments below about which nations... What other nations you'd like to see in Kaiser Redux? Because I'd like to play... <clears throat> maybe Madagascar. Maybe eventually. Maybe ba Madagascar... And other nations like that. Alright, so I guess Russia is led by the Grigory Zinin... Zainoviev, but regardless, hope you enjoyed the campaign. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.